Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to blur a background uh, using GIMP. Uh, GIMP is a free alternative to Photoshop. And uh, so today we're just going to go uh, to the file uh, menu. We're going to open and I've already picked out an image that we can use for today for this tutorial. Um, the first thing I want to do is uh, I want to separate the person from the background so that we can blur the background but the person stays in focus. So the best way to do that is to first go to your zoom tool and kind of select the person so that we can zoom in on them. Because what we want to do is we want to use our paths tool and we're going to use our paths tool to select the person so that we can separate them from the background. So we do that by clicking all along the outside edge of the person. And just to save some time, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed this part up uh, and then we'll pick up where we left off once I have the entire person selected. Okay, so now that we have the person selected, we can hit enter. And as you can see, we now have um, a line around our subject. And it's kind of moving around so that you know that it's activated. So the next thing that we want to do is zoom back out. So we go back to our zoom tool. If we hold down the control key, you'll see that this plus sign that's just above this magnifying glass changes from a plus to a minus. Once you see that minus there, you can just click on the image and it will zoom back out to its original size. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go to select and invert. And the reason we're doing that is because we've selected our subject, but what we actually want to change is the background, which is the opposite of our subject. So by hitting invert, you'll see that the solid line is now not only around our subject, but it also is around the background as well. And so what that's telling you now is that the subject has been cut out and it's now the background that's selected. So once we have that, we're almost there. You just go up to your filters, um, go to the blur option. And I like to use Gaussian blur. Um, you just take your uh, mouse and hover over these lines. And when you click down and drag it across, you can see that the background gets blurrier as you drag it across. But the subject remains the same. Okay. And you can go as sharp or as blurry as you like. Let's say I want it right about there. I can just hit OK. And then we want to take these lines away to make sure that it looks good. So we just go to Select and None. And as you can see, our background is now as blurry as we wanted it to be. Um, sometimes you might get the odd little part like this, uh, but when you go to your zoom tool and you zoom back out to the regular part of the picture, it's really not that noticeable. If you do want to fix it, however, you can go to your zoom tool. As you can see, I pretty much only have this little part on the sleeve here. Um, I can zoom into that part I can just click the smudge tool. I'll select a smaller brush size. So if here's your brush, okay, and this is the size. So you can just kind of click, hold your mouse down and slide it and it will lower the size of your brush. So when you see I come back, my area is a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna smudge some yellow there I'll smudge some yellow there just on those pixels that are dark 
smudge it a little bit and now when we zoom back out it should look just about fixed there we go this is our final image as you can see uh, the person still looks great uh, the background is completely blurred out um, so that's everything for today thanks for watching if you found this helpful please hit the like button or subscribe to my channel to help this channel grow uh, and that will inspire me to do more videos thank you so much